one of the solution to the challenge of satisfying the strength and stiffness requirement of buildings greater than 40 stories is to use outriggers in combination with central core. For the central core of this outrigger based structural system, the structural engineers have employed RC shear walls, steel braced frame as well as composite shear walls consisting of steel plate. The principle of this system is pretty straightforward. Outriggers, which are basically stiff horizontal members, generate restoring movements at a level in which they are located, which leads to a reduction of story drifts as well as bending movements. Even though this structural system has been in use for the past 40 years, the building codes do not recognize it. It is not included in the list of structural systems of UBC, ASCE, Euro code or any other code. There are four code related structural considerations that one needs to address when employing this system in the areas of high seismic risk. Let's address the issue of soft story and weak story first. Apparently, the presence of a very stiff and strong story at outrigger levels will have detrimental effect on building in the areas of high seismic risk. But one must consider the intent of code which is to guard against the accumulation of deformations at one area of building. This system does the opposite. Outrigger floor stiffens the structure and the floors in between provide ample options for a well distributed ductile behavior which can be confirmed with a non-linear time history analysis using appropriate suite of ground motions. Similarly, the concept of strong columns weak beam is misplaced when it is applied for the outrigger system. The intent of the code is to avoid the formation of hinges in multiple columns at the same level which can compromise the ability of building to carry gravity loads, leading to a collapse. By restricting the formation of flexural hinges in beams only, the code provision aims for columns to act as continuous spine for the full height of the structural frame. In the core outrigger system, even if perimeter columns form hinges at top and bottom of outrigger, the story cannot collapse as long as the core is standing. Again, a non-linear time history analysis using realistic seismic events can confirm. Code is also concerned about the brittle failure of columns in compression. Hence, it asks the designer to increase the confinement if the axial compression ratio exceeds 30%. If you were to satisfy this provision of code for the columns supporting the outrigger, an unrealistic design can result. A performance-based design approach may be able to demonstrate that the demand never exceeds the capacity. Another approach would be to limit the maximum force the column can experience by allowing the outrigger members to act as fuse. Fourth consideration is about the connection. The code demands that the connection be strong enough to allow the distribution of plastic behavior over the length of connecting members. Consequently, it requires you to design the connection for the maximum strength of connecting members. This approach would be costly and unrealistic for connections of outrigger. Again, the performance-based design can be used to determine the realistic connection forces.